a quick example how to use the BIMS3 definition. So first of all, you have to check if you can redefine the table. And if you can, then you will create the interim table. The interim table is very important in this case. So you need extra storage while you do that. Then you start a redefinition. And this is when the table gets rebuilt in the background. Finally, you sync with the interim table. So everything will be synced. And then you, and this is very important and very helpful, you copy the table dependence, which are constraints and indexes and such. And finally, you check with DBA redefinition errors. At the end, you finish the redef and the finish then, as Daniel explained before, has this quick exclusive lock because then the change is happening in the dictionary. Regarding statistics, you could copy them over from the original table, but honestly, when you redefine, you typically do things like you add a column or especially you change the order of columns. Um, you may change a data type. So we think that it's highly advisable to regather stats again on this table and not work with the previous stats, even though you could. And it's basically a one button approach. So DBS redefinition, redef table, bang, go. Pretty cool. If you want to do this graphically, Enterprise Manager Cloud Control has this. It serves under this uh, reorg options or objects wizard in Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. 